Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do a quick unboxing of some new sunglasses that I ordered. Uh, this is my first time trying anything from this company. Now I believe I saw these in Nordstrom before and tried on like a pair, not any of the ones that I picked up, but I believe I've tried on a pair. So to my remembrance, I'm pretty sure they're good quality, but we're gonna find out here together. And it's late, so I may look a little shiny, but I really wanted to go ahead and open up these shades and I really want to give y'all my first impression of them. So if you're interested in hearing more about my first impressions of Diff Eyewear, then just keep watching. So first off, Diff Eyewear is a brand of sunglasses. They also do reading glasses, but they're known for their charitable giving program. So they help to try to provide sight to people in underserved countries so with each pair of glasses that you purchase part of that pro part of those proceeds go to helping provide eye exams or eye surgeries to people in need now besides that the glasses that they have look absolutely stunning i have noticed them plenty of times before and i was i know why i came about going on their site <laughs> So if you saw my Nordstrom recommendations, there were some Dior sunglasses that I wanted, but I didn't want to spend that money, even though it was a good sale price. So I started looking for other sunglasses that I liked that were less expensive. And I came across Diff. Like I said, I heard of them before, but it refreshed my memory of them. And they were having us buy one and get one free sale. So here we are. <laughs> so let me show y'all what I picked up. So here's my box. And it looks like each one of them come in their own little box. I did pick up four pairs, so I paid for two and got two free. Um, so yeah, open the box. This is just like a regular cardboard box, but it is cute. I like the logo and everything. And it looks like they come in this case. I'm pretty sure this is not real le leather, but it's like a fake leather, uh, but it's nice. It just has their logo there and a button. Reminds me of a Ray-Ban case. And then on the inside it says, let's make a difference. Now, like I said, I have not opened these. So this is literally my first time just opening the box. All I did was cut it open before I turned the camera on. So inside you get a cloth. And then the actual sunglasses are wrapped in plastic. Or in a little plastic baggie. So they're very well packaged. I will say that. All right, so the first one that I have here is called the Dash, and I believe this is in rose gold. I will be listing all the names of the glasses and linking them down below in the order that I mentioned them because I'm just going off remembrance right now. But I know this is the name of this style is the Dash, and I'm pretty sure it's rose gold. And this is what they look like. So I'm looking in my viewfinder, and from here they look good. Let me grab a mirror. All right, so I like these. <laughs> I really like these on my face shape. It was kind of hard for me to tell in the viewfinder because I have a ring light behind me as well or behind the camera. Uh, but I really, really like these. The color is absolutely gorgeous. It's a rose gold, like a, a pinky tone, but it's not too pink, which is what I was worried about. I really, really like these. I like that you can see my eyes underneath them. And I like the side profile and they feel really comfortable on my face. I will say that um, sometimes I'm not really into wired glasses because some of the cheaper, or not wired, metal glasses, because some of the cheaper ones feel cheap and they feel flimsy. These do not. These feel similar to like Ray-Bans. They actually feel a bit more substantial than Ray-Bans, honestly, um, the Ray-Bans that I've tried anyway. Um, so yeah, these feel really, really nice quality. I like them and they fit my face really well. They feel really comfortable. So I'm super excited about these. So this is the first pair. So for the next few pairs, I'm gonna skip showing you the box and everything. I'll just show you if something turns out different. <laughs> like if there's a different case or anything, but other than that, I'm not gonna show you the box and all because we've already seen all of it. All right, so this next pair is called the Gia. And I will mention that this one did not come with a like a substantial case. It just came with this soft bag. So I'm assuming maybe only some of them come with the more substantial case like this. Um, but either way, I actually really like these and yeah, so that's fine with me. But these are called the Gia and I believe these are in the color taupe. And let's see. Oh, I like those too. 
so they are flat i don't know if you guys can tell but the lens is flat um and then they're kind of a more of a square cat eye and the color is ombre so darker at the top lighter at the bottom i really like these again they're very comfortable they are plastic and i feel like they fit my head very well sometimes some plastic glasses can feel too tight so far these feel really good now my head is not big but i don't know sometimes plastic glasses can give me a headache if they're too like stiff so these feel really really good um yeah i like these these are a different shape for me but i feel like they look pretty like snazzy and cool girl <laughs> so yeah i like these definitely different than anything i have in my collection so so far we're two for two guys on to the next pair so now we're on to the second pair of dashes that i ordered yes i ordered two pairs of dashes <laughs> but that's because i feel like they're just very classic and here they are so these are black but they have a brushed gold trim i don't know if you guys can tell hopefully you can um so i have to say looking at the website i thought the trim was more of an antique gold these are more like a bronze but i still think they work i still like them i just i was under the impression when i looked at the website that it was a antique gold so that is a bit of a surprise but i do really like them and the reason that i picked these is because i have some black shades but i don't have any black shades that are like trimmed in gold <laughs> and i wanted some and i feel like this is just a really classic shape most people i feel like can wear aviators without a problem i feel like they could look good on almost every face shape so yeah i really like these one thing i do like about these aviators it's they are oversized but not super super big so like if you've ever tried the key the high keys from key australia um i used to have some of those and i really like them these remind me of those except i believe the high keys were a little bit like wider on my face so yeah i really like these and these are like great everyday glasses also, these are polarized, if I didn't mention that earlier. Not all of their sunglasses are polarized, but I, I remember these are. All right, and this last pair is the one that I was most nervous about, um, but these are called the Donnas, and I believe the color is blue. But here they are. Let's see if I can see them. Okay, I like them. <laughs> So I was concerned because I thought they were going to be like too big because they're kind of this square like oblong square cat eye shape and I really like them. I, I think um, I believe either Gucci or Tom Ford does some in this shape and they're called like the butterfly and that's what they're reminding me of. They also reminded me of some Ray-Bans that I saw on the Nordstrom sale that kept selling out. So I really like the color. I don't have anything like this. And I really like them on, guys. So these are probably the most different out of all the ones I picked up, or as far as my collection goes. But I think they look like really like snazzy. <laughs> I hope these are coming off great on camera for you guys. Hopefully the ring light is not too much. Um, but I'm filming this at night. So hopefully I don't have to refilm this. But I like these. Um, now these feel a little bit bigger than the other ones as far as the fit on my face but i they're not sliding down or anything so i think they're good but they do feel slightly wider so if you have a wider face maybe these will work well for you but they're actually not that wide like as far as the actual lens so i don't know i like them though i really really like these so all right so that is it for my diff eyewear unboxing and haul so far, I am super impressed with all of them. If I had to pick a favorite right now, uh, I love all of them. But I think if I had to pick a favorite, I would pick these just because they're so different than anything in my collection. And this was the last pair I wore, the Donna, or the last pair I opened, which is the Donna. So I think because they are different from anything else I own, I would pick these as my favorite, but all of them feel really high quality. I don't know how they're gonna last but so far so good they feel just like 
any pair of my designer shades y'all know i have a, a shades problem so <laughs> anyway if something happens with them or they don't live up to my expectations i would definitely update y'all in a later video but so far i am extremely excited and they are still running their buy one get one free sale so i'm gonna try to stay off of there but i can't make any promises <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video let us know in the comments down below if you've ever tried anything from diff eyewear and what did you think about the quality do you think they're as good as designer shades for like a fraction of the price let us know um thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye